I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a fox. I take two fingers over here on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot, going towards the right, I do a little curved line going down, come back to the dot, little curved line down on the left. Come on top, and we're going to draw a curved line up, curved line down, connect on the right, and another curved line up, curved line down, connect on the left. We're going to come inside and we're going to draw a slightly curved line, straight line down on the left, and a slightly curved line, straight line down on the right. Right here we're going to just add a little baby circle. Come right here on the center and draw a curved line out, up, connect on the left, curved line out, up, connect on the right, little curve line across okay come over here on the left and we're just going to go curve line out in out in out in connect on the left come on the right curve line out in out in connect on the right come inside and put one dot on the right one dot on the left little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left. One, two, whiskers on the right, one, two, three, whiskers on the left. Come all the way up and draw me a curve line inside on the right, curve line inside on the left. Come right over here on the left and we're just going to go wavy, 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 wavy line up, connect, now we're going to do it again, wavy, wavy, wavy line, up, connect. Starting right here on the left, we draw one, two, three straight lines. Come back down here at the bottom and just draw a curve line, up, connect on the right, curve line, up, connect on the left. Come all the way up and just go zigzag, zigzag on the left, zigzag, zigzag on the right. Draw one, two, three little curved lines on the left, one, two, three little curved lines on the right. Come all the way up and right here we're just going to draw a curved line down, curved line out and down, leave it floating. Come back over here. We're going to draw curve line up, leave it floating. Starting right here on the right side, we draw a curve line down, curve line over, come back up, draw a curve line down, curve line connect, come inside and draw a curve line down, curve line over, connect. Go one, two, three curve lines, one, two, three curve line. Now go zigzag, 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 zigzag. Okay? Come all the way over here on the right and we're just going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line up, zigzag, zigzag, down, curve line, curve line up, connect. Now we can add a curve line there to connect and right here zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, what makes a fox a fox is his mark are his markings. So we're going to take black for the inside of his ears, black for his little nose, black for his little chinny chin chin, black down here for his paws in the upper part of his leg, so that's like a sock on the front and the back. Now there's uh, different types of foxes. This is going to be a red fox. There's arctic foxes that are totally different color-wise. They're all white. 
Okay. Then I found red orange. I was going to do red, but it was too red. But the red orange really kind of worked. So I'm going to do all of this red orange. But you got to be careful because the other part of his markings is white. So we're going to do this part of his face, but leave these two little parts white and this part white. This needs to be red-orange. Top part of his legs should be red-orange. Same thing here and here. You can do his body red-orange. And this big bushy tail red-orange. Okay? Pretty simple, just two colors. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my fox all colored in. And did I mention this is for Andy? Okay, bye-bye.